finish it. Feed me more. Hello and welcome to the weekly report. This is Running on Full. I am your host, the big guy Ryback. And guys, guys, I'm excited. McDonald's has done it again. Ronald Grimace, the Hamburglar, the boys have brainstormed and they've, they've just simply wowed me. They've done it again. What am I talking about? The McRib. Two pieces of white bread with a genetically modified rib piece smothered in sweet tangy McDonald's barbecue sauce. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm just kidding everybody. The big guy right back here though. Welcome. Yo. Shout out to the weekly report. I appreciate you guys uh, always uh, giving me ideas and different people. The OGs of the game, these people that have been on here killing it for years. So uh, that was just simply my impersonation, a very horrible one. And uh, check out the weekly report. Running on empty is the correct, the correct name on that. But today, guys, I am excited. McDonald's, the McRib. I got a 24 hour fast coming up. I need to feed myself some information. I've never had a McRib, never that I can recall in my life. And uh, each one of these bad boys, 500 calories. And I went ahead and uh, got a little meal here. I got some fries too, because I got a 24 hour fast and it's, uh, I'm recording this at 1.56 PM, hopefully be done shortly. And then that way I could work out tomorrow, um, but get a meal in before I go do my workout because it's harder if I do, if I end my eating at the end of the day. So it's, uh, we're putting a little bit of calories in here. We're going to get right after it, guys. We're going, as, as they say, we're going in, we're going to see what this is all about. Mm. Mm. A lot of barbecue sauce. Mm. I gotta go do cardio after this. An hour and conditioning. I think you guys know me pretty well at this point. That when I'm doing a Sunday cheat meal Especially my final meal. I need more information. Mm. These McRibs, they didn't, they don't go light on that barbecue sauce, that's for sure, guys. onions and pickles on it. I don't like it when cars drive by me when I'm eating. I need to eat in peace.
I got recognized at the gas station just a little bit ago. It's always nice. Two women were in their vehicle when they were giggling. And at first I thought they were giggling because I'm wearing uh, orange Feed Me More Nutrition pants and a orange and gray Feed Me More pumpkin shirt, Halloween shirt that I do sell on Amazon actually. And I'm wearing black and orange Nike Air Maxes. I look very festive today. So I thought the women just thought that maybe it was cute that a big guy was dressed like a big giant stupid pumpkin. And then they stopped as I was still pumping gas. They pulled up next to me and the woman asked for a picture. And they, they said they miss me and they hope they see me back sometime. So that made me feel a lot better. Not because they wanted to see me back, but because I didn't look like a stupid. Well, no, I, actually, I, I do look stupid in this outfit. So I was just glad they weren't laughing at that. Which maybe they were. Very possible. And she has a picture to prove it now. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I do have a thing of fries here, too. The review's not on the fries. These fries are not fresh. But I don't care. And I do have more information. Even though I'm not sure I want more information at this point. I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts on this McRib. I need the calories. I'm a growing boy. The Feed Me More fitness videos are going strong. We got a new one coming up here this week. Please tune into that video chat. thinking of doing a Halloween um, video for YouTube, um, possibly as me dressed as Ryback my, in the singlet and all. And uh, recording myself going trick-or-treating for candy with my theme music playing, screaming feed me more at unsuspecting people. And getting their reactions. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below if you'd like to see that for Halloween. Special Halloween treat from the big guy. Because I can make it happen. We got a full-time videographer with us. So all my ideas I've had all the time. I can just do them whenever I want. Granted, there's time. I feel like this is going to make me sick. Back to the old stale fries. I gotta say, of all the meals I've done so far, guys, this isn't my favorite. I'm not counting the the duck eggs, which, by the way, those are gross. For the people commenting that um. We had a few people leave some comments that the century eggs, the century is a hundred years, but they go by multiple names. They're, they're called a thousand year old eggs, century eggs. So you put both names in the titles, dipshits. Oh, those McRibs. Uh, to cover your bases on the searches. Which I said in the beginning, they're probably only a few months old. Some people. Mm. 
just thinking right now. the way that woman's looking at me. Never seen a man eat a few McRibs, huh? What, are you doing a little search of the vehicle? That's what I thought. Very odd. She's wearing slippers into the store. Whatever floats your boat. She looks like she takes a heavy dose of pain pills with about seven to eight drinks a day. She decided she needed some toilet paper at Walgreens or some shit. I don't know. Happy shopping, ma'am. I don't want to finish this, guys. I don't. Finish it! That piece went flying. Make shit. I'm. A, I was in a good mood before I did this, and I'm not in a good mood anymore. Don't taste good. Not a little bitch. I eat everything. I really feel like I might be sick. lady with the slippers is back. Would you forget your wallet at home? Son of a bitch. She was like walking around my truck looking. Don't judge. That's not her honking at me. All right, guys. Done. I think you can go. Have you have a clue of where I'm going with this? <clears throat> the the <clears throat> of all the fast food stuff that I've done, this was the worst. And I don't want to be a negative Nancy here, or negative Neil, or any any other sort of negative. <clears throat> they don't. They're not sitting well either. Okay, guys, the McShit McRib. Out of five stars. Uh, I want to give it one. I'm going to give it two. They at least put them together. Somebody made those things. Stupid. Um, not good. It was, the bread was cold. It wasn't, uh, and then the, the McRib was, Luke was warm. It was not, it was not, uh, you know, working in the restaurant industry back when I was younger. You know, you want to bring, you want to serve the food piping hot. Um, this was not piping hot. The bread did not seem like it had even been heated in any way or, or toasted or uh, anything of that nature. And uh, it was a lot of barbecue sauce, more than, than I would have liked on the sandwich. Uh, the pickles and onions were fine, but it was just, um, 
It wasn't a good sandwich. And then the fries, something leads, maybe I got bad sandwiches. I'm very, it's very possible. The first time I've had this, I, I, McDonald's, obviously the stuff is horrible for you guys there. Uh, they do have things though that are, that taste very good. This, this for me was not one of them. And the fries, I've had a lot of McDonald's fries since I was a little, a little guy. And these fries were, were, were stale and cold. Did I still eat them all? Yeah, that's what I do. Finish it! The big guy ride back. Feed me more. Two stars on the McRib. I'm upset. I'm not happy right now. I'm going to go run my truck through the car wash. And I'm going to really think about this one long and hard. And I'm going to do a 24-hour fast. And then I'm going to shit out duck eggs and make shit make ribs so stupid I didn't like this one guys but I do it for you damn it and for me for the whole brand but uh I'm giving it giving it two thumbs down I can't I can't award that anything positive and two stars is being generous I'm, and I'm giving, and I'm, I'm hoping that maybe I just got a bad, a bad crew today, a bad crew at the Mickey D's. But um, you guys just be good human beings. Hold doors open for people. Smile at, smile at strangers. Not creepy like that, because you'll probably get punched if some slapped. But a simple smile at a stranger. Guys, re-rack your weights. If a girl in the gym makes eye contact with you, it's don't go fucking bother her. She probably fucked up. It's a, I feel bad. There's so many beautiful women in Vegas at the gyms and the douchebags just ruin it for all of us. Mainly for me, you know. Don't, just let them work out. God, just stupid. I see it so much. Girls walk with their heads down now. They don't make eye contact. So, and then the ones that accidentally do, then you got Tom, Dick, and Harry over there sitting around the cable press, talking their ear off, trying to fix her form. <sighs> 2019. All right, guys, that's it. We're done over here. See you next time. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all natural su my all natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement. Stupid. My all natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback right available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out feedmemore.com.